Hey guys, so I'm here with my two year update after ACL and medial and lateral meniscus surgery and also my one year update after my partial meniscectomy. So just as a quick um, overview, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, back in April of 2018 I had ACL surgery as well as medial and lateral meniscus repair all at once and I went through about 11 month recovery and then was back to playing soccer and doing my full activity when my medial meniscus repair failed and then I had to get that trimmed in May of 2019. So here I am now just giving another update two years after my initial surgery and also one year after my second surgery. So first I'm just going to touch on my range of motion. Um, technically it is not back to normal my extension or hyperextension as I have is actually identical but my flexion is not so when they cleared me for my first surgery they said that my flexion was the same when he measured it but he had to really crank my knee to get it there and it was not comfortable so I cannot um, fully bend my knee the same as the other one it is pretty close probably within a few degrees and um, in terms of doing any activity my flexion is Far enough where I don't notice it but I definitely cannot bend my knee as far or as comfortably as the other one so next I'm going to touch on how my knee feels and has felt since my last update so my last update was three months after my meniscus trim and um, it has now been a full year so for most of that time I did not experience much pain around my actual joint line um, for my entire recovery and actually even before my first knee surgery I've experienced um, patella tendon pain and tendonitis and I definitely still struggle with that um, especially if I increase my activity by a lot or if I'm in a, on a lot of hard surfaces there have been a couple of flare-ups as well so I believe this past winter probably when I was about a year and a half out of my first surgery um, I was playing a little bit too much soccer on my knee especially on hard grounds and it just got really irritated it started to hurt on the outside and it ended up getting swollen and painful overall so I took a few days off and then it subsided and that didn't happen again um, and then a few weeks ago I was training a lot unfortunately on concrete and after a few weeks of that the medial, medial joint line of my knee really started to hurt and it was pretty painful so I have stopped working out on concrete and that has mostly gone away. Overall uh, my knee just does not feel completely normal and I don't know that it ever will. For the most part I don't notice it but it just does not feel 100% the same as the other one. It just feels a little bit um, stiffer especially in flexion and I can just tell that something's a little bit different like I said especially when I working out a lot or on really hard surfaces. One way I can definitely tell it's different is by the noises it makes. So my knee cracks multiple times a day um, pretty loudly and sometimes it will even feel like it's a little stuck and then it cracks and it kind of feels released or better. So it definitely cracks and crunches a lot still to this day. Okay so the next thing is my quad size. I actually still notice a difference in the size of my quads especially around the VMO. Um, my quad has definitely returned, but it's not exactly the same, and it's something that I'm still working on and a bit frustrated by. Um, I really think my second surgery of them having to go in again and trim that meniscus um, really hurt my progress with my quad. So that's something I'm always kind of working on. I'm really focusing on trying to build up that VMO again and just continue to get that quad strength back, even though it is a lot closer than it was. I just feel like it looks a little bit smaller still. In terms of what I can do now or can I play soccer again and those kind of things, the answer is yes, I can fully play again. I actually went over to Germany to play professionally but then obviously everything with coronavirus happened so I was there for four months but we only were really training and playing as a team for about a month so I can do pretty much every physical activity I could do before. The only thing is, like I said, I kind of have to watch the surfaces I'm on and be really mindful of warming up very carefully and um, not overtraining because when I increase my activity level too high, too fast, that is when I will get issues with my knee. Going off of that, I wanted to touch on the mindset. So at this point when I'm playing, I do not really think about it 
there will be sometimes if I'm on kind of a weird surface or um, the conditions are really bad then I get a little worried about it beforehand but once I'm in the middle of it I don't think about it I don't really notice it in those moments um, so I think that I'm in a pretty good place mentally with it where I can fully play and do the activities I did before without any like fear holding me back. So that is pretty much all I have for my two year update from my first surgery and my one year update from my meniscectomy. I will have all of my um, recovery vi journey videos linked down below as well as my blog post that I recently made. Additionally, if you have any other questions, just leave them down below. I may answer them in a FAQ um, and I will try to get back to you if I can. So thank you to everyone who has watched some or all of my journey. It's definitely been a really long one and I'm hoping it just continues to kind of get better from here.